The mediator design pattern is a pattern that provides a central authority through which the different components of an application may communicate. If a unit of code has too many direct relationships between components, it may be time to have a central point of control that components can communicate through. This diagram shows what the mediator design pattern is like. You have one mediator up here, and then you have these other components called colleagues that communicate through the mediator, and then the mediator communicates back to the other colleagues. An analogy would be an airport traffic control system. So a tower, this would be the mediator right here, handles what planes can take off and land because all communications are done from the planes to the control tower. So flight 77 communicates to air traffic control that they're ready to land and so the air traffic control tells flight 112 that they have to wait a little bit before they land. The planes are not communicating between each other they're all communicating to the control tower and then the control tower communicates back to the planes. So the centralized controller is mediating all the communication. This design pattern can be implemented in different ways, but here is a simple example. In this example, we have participants that are joining a chat session by registering with a chat room, which is the mediator. So the mediator in this example is the chat room right here. And the mediator is going to define an interface for communicating with colleague objects. It's going to maintain references to the colleague objects and it's going to manage central control over the operations. Now, in this example, the, the colleagues are going to be the participants right, right up here. And these are going to be mediated by the mediator, and each instance is going to maintain a reference to the mediator. So, in this example, the participant is going to have a name, and then it's going to have the reference to the mediator, which is the chat room. It starts off with, at, with null, and there's two functions that the participants can do. They can send, where they're going to send a message to people in the chat room. So it's going to pass you're going to pass in the message and who you're sending the message to. And when you call this message it's actually going to call the mediator. this.chatroom.send. So the chat room is defined up here and we're going to do the send method from the chat room and send over the message this which is the reference to the participant sending the message and to who we're sending the message to. And then to receive a message, uh, we're just going to have the message and from, and we're just going to console.log the message. So let's look through the chat room now. So we're going to maintain a list of participants here, which is just an empty object right now. And then you can register with the chat room by passing in the participant. And so we're going to add to this participants object the, the name and set to the participant. And here we're going to do set the chat room to this. So up here in the participant, the chat room is now going to be set to the current chat room. And remember, the participant calls the chat room dot send function here. So it's defined here, where we pass in a message who it's from and who it's to. If it's to uh, someone in particular, it's just going to be a single message. We're going to call to.receive. Remember, to is the participant receiving the message. And we're going to call the receive function and pass the message in the from. If you do not pass in who the message is to, we're going to broadcast the message to all the participants in the chat room. So we're going to run this for loop that goes through every participant in the chat room. And you can see, instead of just calling the receive function on who we're sending it to, it's going to call the receive function on every participant in the chat room. So it gets sent to everybody. So let's see how that works. We're going to create five participants here with five different names. And then we're going to create the chat room here. And then we're going to register all those participants with the chat room. So they've all entered the chat room. Now here, we're going to call quincy.send, and we're going to pass in how is it going, and we're not going to pass in who this message is going to. So it's just going to go to, to everybody. And the next few messages, we're actually going to pass in who it's going to, and each of these messages goes to Quincy. So when we run this, you'll see in the console that those just go to one person. So let's run that. So you can see the first few messages. Uh, Quincy sends, sends a message to all four of the other people. How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? How's it going? And that just happened just because of this. And then the next messages only get sent to one person. So you can see the rest of these messages here uh, are these messages sent, sent directly to Quincy. 
so our chat room is mediating all of these messages. Thanks for watching. My name is Bo Carnes. Don't forget to subscribe and remember, use your code for good.